Hello and welcome to the 2022 Virtual Roadshow for the Young Social Innovators Speak Out Tour with me, Rob O'Hanrahan from Virgin Media News. It's been an amazing and eye-opening roadshow so far, but we're not done yet. Today, we're meeting our group of students and I can't wait to see what they've been doing to make things better for the environment. Well, look, without further ado, let's meet them and we'll go to Donegal first. Ashling, your project is called Commotion in the Ocean, a great title, by the way. Can you tell us a little bit about what your team has been doing over the past few months and what impact you've managed to make? Yep, so the social issue of our concern our team has chosen to address is the impact of pollution on marine life. Oceans play an essential role in our life on Earth. They provide us with over 50% of the oxygen we breathe and contribute to over 97% of the world's water supply. The pollution of our oceans not only affect the marine life and their environment, but it also affects our mankind. The equipment of a bin lorry of plastic is dumped in the sea every minute. The ha this has resulted in over 150 million tonnes of plastic already floating in the sea. We want to play a part in addressing this issue. So some of the stuff we have addressed and done for our for our project, we did a beach cleanup in Rosnaula, which really consisted of lifting all the rubbish we could find and we just did over and back the beach and we got about five or six big bin bags of rubbish. Um, we did, we made a bin in Donegal Pier, um, which was really needed down there because there's not that many bins. Um, we did. We contacted Seal Rescue Ireland and we did a presentation with them and we got their thoughts on all the injured seals and the marine life. We did a school quiz and it involved our whole school and it was about marine life and the ocean and stuff like that. And we did a Zoom with Charlie McGonagall. Um, he talked about marine life and our project and we contacted the Minister for Agriculture food and marine life, which was really good because it really taught us more about our project and it helped us go forward with it. Ashley, thank you so much for that. Some very worrying statistics. Good to know the beautiful beaches of Nigal are being looked after as well. Now, Gemma, you're at the complete opposite end of the country in Kinsale and your team has been looking at the issue of fast fashion. Can you tell me a little bit about your project and what exactly your team is trying to do? Yeah, so our products on fast fashion, and as we know, it's a problem that's only getting worse and worse. Um, the fast fashion industry makes up about 10% of global carbon emissions, which is huge. And in 2018 alone, 17 million tonnes of textile waste ended up in land landfill. And, and we want to try to help this issue. Uh, we want to raise awareness and encourage alternative ways of getting new clothes, like borrowing from friends, charity shops, renting clothes. Um, the majority of our plans are scheduled in the coming months, but um, in May we're holding a fashion show in our school where we'll model and co clothes collected from charity shops. Um, and at the end of the show, all the clothes model will be available to purchase and the money will go to Enable Ireland, Oxfam, the Irish Cancer Society. And we will also be joined virtually by Claire Press, the founder of the wardrobe crisis. Um, and the aim of the fashion show is to prove to people that although the clothes are unwanted, they're still attractive to others and they're still in perfect condition. You don't need to get new ones all the time. Um, we're also setting up a Kinsale uniform Facebook page where parents could post details of outgrown or unused uniform items um, with the intention of selling them to other local parents who might need them or swap or sell system. And we're also working on the idea of a sustainable Debs, um, coming up with ideas of how we can make the event more eco-friendly. A lot of really exciting stuff planned there, Gemma. It all sounds brilliant. Well done. <music> Travelling up to Kildare now to Roxana. Now, Roxana, your project is called Clean World, Clear Mind. Another great title. What has your team been doing over the past few months and how has it all been going? Um, so our team has been... Um, we were setting up litter picking groups as we recently opened a new building in our school, which meant a new cafeteria. And the litter just kept building up, so we saw that as a big issue and we decided to address it and um, we're getting first years to do it by first, first years and then we're going to go up by years where they're going to, 10 minutes after lunch, they're going to uh, do litter picking and pick up all the rubbish to get our school environment more enjoyable to look at. Um, we are also getting a sustainable fashion speaker in to talk to us about how we can live more sustainably. She um, she does sustainable fashion. Uh, we will also we are also planning on reducing um, waste in our school by uh, getting rid of 
not getting rid of the uh, reducing the waste of plastic spray bottles, sanitation, because COVID was a big issue in our school where there was masks, sanitation products lay um, just trash because no one like they never made it to the bin. Um, we're also planning on uh, upcycling HDPE plastic by melting it and forming it into uh, useful molds that we can use around the school. Brilliant work, Roxana, and a great example of how you can make a difference in your school community as well as everywhere else. Thank you. And circling back around to Donegal again, I'm exhausted. Erin, can you tell us a little bit about your project Sustained for Life? What issue are you tackling and what have you been getting up to to really make a difference? Uh, so like you said, we're Sustained from Life and we're from Ross Community School. Um, and like Gemma, we were tackling fast fashion and sustainability um, in the area. And with fast fashion, we wanted to provide an awareness and also an, alter an alternative to fast fashion. So we sweat up, set up a swap shop where people could trade in pre-loved clothes in exchange for tokens to then exchange them for other clothes. Um, if you didn't have tokens or anything, you could use cash as well. And it just provided an uh, alternative to fast fashion in our area. Um, so, so far we've held this three times in our school and they've been very, very successful. Um, and we found that our, like once we knew what we were doing with the swap shop and how to set it up and what systems to use, we found it really, really easy. So we put together a pack, a kind of guide to, how, um, to set up your own swap shop and we hope to send this out to other schools so that other TY groups could do their own and help fast fashion in their area and their school. Um, and then we hope to have a website to hold this and to also have information on sustainability and fast fashion and especially the alternatives. Um, so we just wanted the swap shop to be something that was like accessible and affordable for people uh, against fast fashion. Very effective way to tackle fast fashion, Erin, and clearly one that's a real hot button topic at the moment. Thank you so much for that. Well, that's my traveling done for today, but stay tuned for my next virtual trip where I'll be meeting more young people who are coming up with innovative ways to address issues related to their communities. Don't forget to follow at YSI now and check out all of the inspiring stories of change created by young people all over Ireland as part of this year's Speak Out virtual tour at ysi.ie forward slash speakout 2022. Bye for now.